video is brought to you by G2Wait.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Career Mode video. And today, we are going to be looking at one of the up and coming players now in the Premier League after securing himself a recent transfer to Leicester City. It is Damari Gray. This man is an absolutely brilliant pickup in a Road to Glory Career Mode in FIFA 16 and has been from the very, very beginning. And obviously, now moving away from Career Mode, like I said before, he has now transferred to Leicester City, who are obviously not doing too bad in the Premier League by their standards as well. This guy definitely has a bright future. And just moving away from him for a second, I don't know who the head scout at Leicester City is, but you can you can tell he's a FIFA 16 career mode enthusiast. First, they signed Daniel Amati in this January transfer window. Now, Damari Gray. Mate, I think you're probably watching my series. If you are, top-notch signings. Well done, mate. So let's take a look at Gray's stats then. Left midfielder, 68 overall. He's got the pace. He's got the agility, the balance. He's got some decent stamina as well, which is all pretty good. But now let's take a look at his technical attributes. As you can see, the ball control and dribbling is fantastic up in the high 70s for his overall. That's fantastic. But every other technical attribute that he has is below 68, below his overall. So for a 68 overall, those technical attributes really are disappointing. But anyway, 19 years of age, 5 foot 10. He can play at left mid and center attacking mid, right footed. He's got medium attacking and defensive work rates. He's got two star weak foot, three star skill moves, the acrobat speciality, and the flare trait too. So that is that, a potential of 82. I really hope over the journey we can develop those technical attributes because as important as it is to have uh, plenty of pace and great ball control as a winger, those really aren't that impressive. But anyway, let's take a look at the technical attributes. They are coming along perfectly in the first season. That's fantastic to see. As a matter of fact, the technical attributes are the attributes that were increased by the most and by tons. I see some going up by plus four, plus five. It's fantastic. But anyway, the uh, mental attributes, they seem to have gone up as well. And his overall has been increased to uh, 71. So that's a three overall growth in his first season. That's a great start. I just really hope for his sakes it's going to continue because he's going to need a fair amount of technical attribute growth. But how about this time? It does it again. It's a little bit of a less overall growth this time. You see he's gone up by two and now he's 73 at 20 years of age at the end of the second season. Still that tiny bit of mental attribute growth as well. Absolutely no development to his physical attributes as of yet, but I'm still seeing plus four, plus five overall increases or uh, stat increases in his technical attributes. So I'm feeling much, much more confident and better about this player. We're now starting to see finishing up in the 70s and shot power up in the 70s. So they're all coming about. But now for the third and final season with, of course, Gray, we're going to see what his overall is before we skip all the way to 2025, if he can get over that potential. But so far, I've been pretty happy with his start. He's gone up by seven in his three seasons. He's gone up by two again this time around. He's got super happy morale. We're seeing a little bit of attribute increase to his physical attributes. That is, as you can see, we've got plenty of that pace going up and that agility going up. He's looking crazy good now. Some slight mental attribute growth as well. And the technical attributes are still being developed. Not as much in previous seasons, but still a great, great first couple seasons. So now the time is to skip all the way to 2025. Can he hit that 82 potential? He has just seven overall left to grow by. I reckon he can do it, but let's find out. So here we are, 2025 with Damari Gray. Definitely a great player to pick up in a Road to Glory career mode. Has been for a long time. Even if you're a bigger club looking to get some younger players in your team, he's always been one of the best ones. But now we find out what his rating is in 2025. 82 overall on the final season in 2025. That is his potential. And at 28 years of age, you don't doubt that he could go up by even more. But now, let's break down some of these technical attributes. Ball control and dribbling is at the 95 level. Insane stuff. His acceleration is 97. His agility is 95. Sprint speed's obviously great as well at 91 too. And he's just got some incredible unreal attributes for an 82 overall. Obviously, everything else is quite decent for that overall. You see some of his other technical attributes that have been developed to get to that sort of an overall level uh, to match that overall level. But some of the stats that he has, like his pace and his ball control and dribbling, is ridiculous. Could you imagine playing with this guy in career mode? You would not believe that he had an 82 overall if you actually tried him out, surely. If you had no idea what that overall was. Absolutely insane stuff to have that sort of pace, that sort of an that, that, that sort of ball control and dribbling. It's crazy. And then some decent stats, of course, that accommodate with his overall all around that 80 mark. But yeah, absolutely crazy. So there you have it then, guys. That is Gray in 2025. Oh, Leicester City, you've done yourself an absolutely gigantic favor getting yourself Amati and Gray. If EA Sports know their shit, you've got a hell of a you've got a hell of a team in the future. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, have a good one. Bye-bye.